hey guys welcome to my channel wise man and today i will show you that how can you add general's abbreviation to your references right so i have this references as you can see and it has general names but i want that i want the general abbreviation in terms of their full name right so how can i get that so if you want to do manually like by editing that is very uh, time consuming very hectic because you have more number of journals right so and they are also repeating so the one way to do this is very easy way is using the end note so you have to use end note for this i am using end note and for that what you need to do so let's say you are using EndNote and you have so many references about 100 and more than 100 and some journals are repeating. So the best way to do, uh, the best way to make the general abbreviation is that you can use the automatic procedure that I will show you. So as you can see, I have this uh, nature communication journals, which is the first one over here. I want to make it abbreviated. So what I will do first. You need to be sure that the style that you are using so I am using this numbered IJOT which I made it so I am using this uh, style for my references so what you need to do so you need to go to this edit go to this output style and be sure to change the style that you are using so I am using numbered IJOT so I will edit this and now as you can see I have gone into this style formatting now you can see this journal names over here click on this abbreviation one okay so we will use the abbreviation one and then click on control s save it then close this and then you can go to word file and update it Okay, so as soon as I update it, you can see that now I got this nature communication abbreviation of the title, which is uh, correct as over here, right? So this is the way you can uh, update. You can use this method to update the general uh, journals abbreviation. Now the thing is that uh, as you can see in my word file, this title hasn't been abbreviated, right? I the remaining <coughs> journals abbreviation is not completed so what i can do i can go to this endnote file and i can go to this tools go to define term list and then go to these terms and let me check it out so okay so this is for the authors go to journals and now i have over here in the journals list so let's see so okay as i can see i have only one journal name having its abbreviation so i don't have more journal names right so what i can do i can either go to new term and define the full journal and then save it putting the abbreviation one which is very time consuming so you can't do for each and every journal so we have one more trick in the end note okay which is i will show you so you can directly update all the journal names with their abbreviation in end note so to do that go to tools go to define term list go to journals be sure select these journals then click on import list and if you click on this import list you can see that there are many many about 11 or 12 uh, journals list right which are saved as per their uh, you can say it's department or as per their uh, field so i have this physics philosophy medical so based on this journals which comes under this category let's say physics category uh, we have the journal names with their abbreviation so let's say i want to select this physics click on open and it is it has an updated 354 terms right click on ok and you can see that now i have 355 terms the one which i already added which is a nature communication and you can see that all the abbreviation has been updated right so it's very good and I can just show you that teacher communication was there and now I have this abbreviation of all the journals so let's click on close and now let's go to word file and click on update and let's see what will happen so will it automatically update or not we will see be sure uh, that has been selected like the abbreviation one so if I go down uh, some journals are not abbreviated while some are 
okay so over here you can see this has been abbreviated automatically for me and some are so this is applied physics journal of applied physics has been every uh, every uh, abbreviated so some are remaining so now what i can do i can go to endnote again i can go to tools define term list and i can import as many as for my site so i can click control a okay so it is not uh, allowing me to select uh, uh, all of these files so i can i have to go one by one so it just um, okay so again it has been in goes to the authors list which i don't want right if i go to terms so you don't need to do this thing like it has been went into this author list so i can delete it So if you do this kind of mistake, what will happen when you update your journal uh, for abbreviation, it will not show up because it has went to the author's list. Be sure it has to be in the journal list only. So let it, uh, it be delete and then I will show you again. So Okay, so you can go to these journals, right? Be sure to select journals, click on import list, click on bioscience, let's say chemical, click on open, and it is updating. So now it has been added to the journals, and you can see now we have 1661 journal list. While you can see that some are remaining, but some has some doesn't have this abbreviation, right? So let me close that and let me update this and we will see what will happen in the word file. So now as you can see journal heat transfer, it has been modified. Okay, uh, if you want to cross check it, you can cross check this abbreviation if it is correct or not. So you can go to this, uh, this uh, website which is cassi.cs.org so go to this main website search and over here you can write um, journal of uh, heat transfer so i am I, I want to cross check that whether this journal of heat transfer is right or not so go over here and you can see journal of heat transfer it is this and you can see that the abbreviation title is j dot heat transfer which matches with this one so in this way you can cross check the the abbreviation title of the journal if, by going to this website and it is a legitimate website so now you can see that many of these uh, journals has been uh, modified with their abbreviation however some are some are remaining let's say international thermal sciences so what i can do there are two ways to do that either you can go so you can go to these tools uh, you can go to this define term list go to journal right and then go over terms and then you can provide new terms so let's say i want to define for this international journal i will copy it international journal of thermal science i will copy it then i will paste it over here and i will i need to find uh, the abbreviation for that click on search okay so it is not providing me the abbreviation for this okay so what i can do i can just search on the google if it is not there click on abbreviation and it is like this so international law of thermal science click on copy it and then paste it in abbreviation 1 click on ok 
okay uh, what i did i didn't save it so that's my fault you need to save it first so control c and then let me see if it is there or not So International Journal of Thermal Science. Okay, it's there. So if I click on OK, it automatically saved. Okay, so now close it. Now you can update and you can see that whether it changed or not. Right, so in this way, it has been changed it has been modified so that's the best way uh, if you are not finding uh, the journal list names into the predefined files that has and not provided you can modify you can add it uh, by manually also so in this way you can get the journal abbreviation for the references very easily using EndNote. so I, ho I hope this video will be helpful to you if it is helpful hit the like button and subscribe my channel wise man before that let me show you one more thing let's say if you are not finding this EndNote file so what you can do, you can just search EndNote journal abbreviation file and that will click on, uh, that will take you to this main page. So click on this support.clevrite.com and no generate full abbreviated journal names. If you click on that, what will happen? It will take you to this EndNote uh, website where they have provided the, the, the let's say these journal uh, file names so you can scroll down and you can download that file name which is term list.zip and you can click on that and that will download this file having all the uh, the all the word all the text documents that contains the uh, journal names and with the abbreviation so and then you can just after downloading it you have to repeat the same steps go to tools uh, go to open terms and journal and then uh, sorry uh, go to tools go to define and then go to journals and you can import list right click on that and just search where you want uh, from where you want to where, wherever you downloaded that uh, folder from that you can search and you can uh, install these new terms for the journals so i hope this video will be helpful to you it is helpful to like button and subscribe to my channel wise man thank you